Hi, it's Grant here at MPW. I'm here to talk to you about the Shapeheart phone case. I've had a Shapeheart case for the last six months or so that was kindly given to me by the guys at Ultimate Add-ons who are the UK distributor. I use it infrequently when I'm going for a ride with friends or if I'm visiting different places that I'm not familiar with. It's a really good option if you want a temporary phone case to use it for a sat-nav when you're going out and about. In the box, what you'll get is the mount, the silicon band, a couple of other silicon bands if you want to mount it in a different way. It comes with a carry pouch and obviously the phone case itself. In terms of phone size, I have an Honor uh, 9X Lite. It's 16 centimeters long and eight centimeters wide and it's just about the right size to fit into the Shapeheart case. There is a second size, an XL Plus, which is larger. It's got a very strong magnet on the back, so there's no issues with it um, moving at all at motorway speeds. So no matter how fast you're going, it doesn't move. Shapeheart have a video on their website where I think they tested it up to about 140 miles an hour. Um, as you can see, that's a strong magnet. It doesn't shift around. I've used it on dual carriageways and motorways. It's not been a problem. It's waterproof, so you can be out in a deluge and you're not gonna get wet. One thing I have found which is a bit of an issue is uh, some glare. So if the sun's behind you as you're riding, you do get quite a lot of glare on the screen. Luckily in the UK, that's not really a big problem because the sun hardly ever comes out, um, but that's something to be aware of. I'd have the screen as bright as you can because you'll find when you're riding, if there's any glare or any issues, um, the brighter your screen, the better. That's a little tip. So in terms of mounting your shape part to the handlebars, you've got a couple of options. You've got a silicon strap and you've got the silicon bands. What you'll need to use will vary depending on the type of handlebars you have. So to fit the silicon strap to your bar, you just want to put it on one side of the mount, put it around your bar, and pull it over that side. And you can move it and adjust it once it's on your bar as well. So with a thicker bar, you can put the shape part in place, use the silicon band to hopefully strap it down. It's also available in a scooter version too, which mounts to your mirror. Um, so there's a few different options depending on what you need. So positive things for me, it's super quick and easy to fit. It takes about 30 seconds to get it on your bike. Nice and easy. It doesn't move no matter how fast you're going. And it's a low cost option. So it retails at £30, 29.99. Um, so if you're not wanting to spend £100 on a quad lock or an Ultimate Add-ons case or an SP Gadgets, it's a really good option. The kind of riding I do and the kind of um, things I need from SatNav, it's perfect for me. I don't need a permanent solution that's always going to be on my handlebars. It's really good if you're just using it for the weekend, if you're visiting new places that you've never been to before and you want to use your sat nav. I think technically, because it's only made from neoprene, if you're using it day to day, I would imagine you would see quite a lot of wear. As I say, I've used it for about six months infrequently and it's absolutely fine, but um, it's just something to bear in mind. If you're wanting to get a case to use every single day, you might want to look at something a bit more robust. Another thing to mention is phone protection. So obviously, if you drop your phone when it's in this case, you don't have a lot of protection from knocks, um, but that's not really what it's for. It's just for a quick way of getting your, your phone onto your handlebars when you're out riding. There's no issue using it um, in the case. Uh, you can still scroll and do whatever you need to do. Um, it's got a reflective um, band around the outside, which everything seems to have these days. You'll have like the odd reflective bit on your, on your boot, on your trouser leg. Doesn't really do anything, doesn't really help anyone see you, but it's there. It's got a slit in the back for a phone charger if you want to charge it on the go. It's a good value option if you need a sat nav infrequently. That's what I think. If you're looking for something a bit more permanent, Ultimate Add ons, who are the UK distributor, which I might have mentioned, they have a whole range of phone cases and mounts of different kinds that we're actually looking at getting in. If you've got anything that you'd like us to get in, leave a comment below. If you want to check out some more information on our Rezo handlebars, look at the videos that Bill made. You can buy the shape part in the phone case for the motorcycle or the scooter at MPW. Remember to like and subscribe. 
hit that notification button, why wouldn't you? And I'll see you next time. So I want to start swearing. That liquid smooth. <laughs> Even getting it off the handlebars is a bit like, you know, you're full on yanking it because it's, it's a really strong magnet. Using the silicon strap is really easy. You just slide it onto one side, put it around your bar, and then you pull it tight. This is so easy. I think I said that was super. It doesn't move. Um, I'm not sure what you do with this. Why do you need that? I guess, you, I mean, because if you take your phone off your bike, are you going to stick it in this? And then surely it's already uh, protected on the light it's, Yeah, it's one of those weird things. It's just keeping it all together, I guess, yeah. yeah it's quite a nice little case. Stick it in your drawer. Yeah. What would you use it for? I mean, I'd use it for something else.